What's up, everybody? My name's Nate. Hectic Henry, as some would like to say. And I'm deciding to start a new series. The name of this series is Living with ADHD. Um, when I was younger, I had really bad ADHD. And uh, I conquered it in about 6th or 7th grade. I went off medication. I killed it in high school. Was ranked 7th in my class. Got the Dean Scholarship for the college I'm currently attending. And now I'm going to college. Life's fucked up. As we can see, if we look outside, like, coronavirus, the election, it's stressing everybody out. And everybody's issues, whether they be depression, anxiety, ADHD, ADD, a OCD, whatever it is, everyone is stressed out. And it's making everyone feel worse. I decided I'd start a series that's about um, mental health awareness. It's about the fact that I live with it. We all do. Some Everyone has something wrong with them. And I'm just here to talk about me. So, um, I'm just going to get into uh, how I felt. It's going to be a weekly series just about how I've been feeling that week. Um, what's going on in my life. Um, I'm going to start from the beginning of college this year. So college started, I felt super motivated. I felt super ready. I was going to have in-person classes like every other week. Um, it's going to be a good time. I was excited to meet people. I was excited to make friends in college. Um, I attended college, SUNY Oneonta, here in Oneonta, New York. And um, I never even got to go to one in-person class. My school hit about 700 COVID cases within the first three weeks of students being on campus. Everything got shut down. Everyone went home. So now I'm stuck in Oneonta with my job um, with nothing really to do and it makes living here difficult um, you try to grind on your classes and there's no motivation because there's no one around you to associate yourself with that you're both going through those issues so um, recently I made the decision that I kind of want to go back on medication. Something that no one should be ashamed of and something that I'm trying to not be ashamed of. Uh, I always thought of myself as strong because I didn't have to be on medication, but that's not how it is. It's not how it is. It's not how it should be. So I guess my main message in this video, this short like five minute video is that... Uh, to be strong doesn't mean you're not on medication. Being strong means you know what you have to do to make yourself succeed and you do it. We're all strong in some senses. Take those strengths and build off of them. Help yourself. For now, I've been Hector Henry. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.